next. Seems there's a fitness club on every corner these days, but not too long ago, they were the exclusive hangout of a rare new breed called the Bodybuilder. A local gym has a big stake in that history and continues today. We'll visit when San Diego Insider Magazine continues. Want to find a dinosaur in North Park? Just turn down this side street, look for the neon sign, and tackle the flight of stairs to reach a place called Stern's Gym. But if you walk inside, be prepared to sweat. Here's Jeannie Rodden. The neon shines brightest at 5 a.m. when the first hardcore gym rats arrive. Ugh. They climb the 27 stairs to the second floor. Inside... We ready to rock and roll. All the way. Come on. Best set right here. In between the twisted ropes... Good. ...the leather belts... ...and the metal contraptions... <laughs> you'll find San Diego's oldest gym. Push it up. Some say the oldest in California. You could call it the old school of gyms. Good old sweat gym, that's right, and that's what it is. Sweat and muscle. It's what 82-year-old Leo Stern, the man who created this place, built his reputation on. He started the gym back in 1947. Originally, when we moved in here, there was a slaughterhouse down below, and it was horrible during the summer, but, uh, the rent was right. Rent was 125 bucks a month. Back then, it was all men, men who grunted and squatted and sweat their way to big bulk, bucking the accepted norms of male physique in the 1940s. They didn't like young fellows with muscles in those days either. They thought they were a little, you know, uh, repulsive in a way. I can remember an article in Reader's Digest, which they said, the best thing to do after you're 25 is to sit in a rocker and read, read or uh, watch television. Leo started by teaching weight training classes in the military. Then he went on to train dozens of champs. My first Mr. America was Clancy Ross, who uh, as an unknown won to Mr. America in 1945. So that kind of got me started. And Leo practiced what he preached. He knew, and he knew that he knew. Because he had he'd taken some guys already and made champions out of them himself. And he was a champion. Leo was a champion. He was a champion. He doesn't talk about it much, but he was. He was a big inspiration himself. Leo Stern became Mr. San Diego in 1941, then Mr. California in 1946. He even got his wife, Betty, involved. She remembers meeting him when she worked at an office supply store in North Park. He came in often. He was very forthright, except buying paper clips every day. But I don't know, there's just something about him I, I liked. Did you get a little clue that maybe he didn't need that many paper clips? I know he didn't need them. <laughs> It wasn't long before Leo convinced Betty to get out of the office supply business and into physical fitness. In fact, it was right here on this corner, just a block from Leo's gym, that Betty opened her own gym in 62. It was a new thing for women, so it just naturally grew on its own. And while Betty's gym was growing, so was Leo's. Jack LaLanne worked out there. So did Lou Ferrigno, who went on to become the Incredible Hulk. And Arnold was here in 69, uh, just a very pleasant person, nice personality, and to me, he hasn't changed much. As the spotlight shone on famous bodybuilders in movies like Pumping Iron in the 70s, oh. the regulars in the gym stuck around and still do. I first came in 51, and I've been coming regular ever since. And how long have you been here, Gil? Oh, yeah, it's about 25 years. About 25 years? Yeah, uh -huh. Who killer's been here? Since 86. Since 86, he's a regular at Stern Gym? Some have been here for 50 years plus. 40 is not unusual. And, and, and you come around, you see these fellas that you haven't seen in a long time, and it's very refreshing. I, I think it's uplifting as far as, you know, you get a little sentimental once in a while about it. Nowadays, Leo just works out here. Looking good. Shannon Brown owns the gym now. I have a great love for Leo, and that's why the gym is still called Stern's Gym. You know, and it would always be called Stern's Gym. And as long as I own it, it's going to stay old-fashioned, and, you know, it's going to keep that flavor where 
people could come in without getting dressed up uh, and get a good workout. And if these sweat-soaked walls could talk. You know, that's the only benefit of getting old, is the memories, if you can remember. <laughs> They'd speak of muscle-bound dreams that began at Stern's gym. It's been a real pleasure. I have no regrets. Jeannie Rodden, Channel 4, San Diego. Leo's now 83 and still works out four or five times a week. If you're interested in working out at Stern's Gym, it's located here on Granada Avenue in North Park, and they are accepting new members, and they're running a deal right now. Fees are 100 bucks for six months. Pretty hard to beat. For more information, check out our website at 4SD.com. Okay, time to leave the 40s for the 80s, the 1880s, when an exotic bird roamed the wilds of University Heights. You're watching San Diego Insider Magazine from Channel 4.